Uh, the next three Saturday is also from our war against American Pride. Um, just before I dive in, I just want to show you that um, what we do in a lot of raids is a lot of three stars end up being cleanup raids. You'll see this raid here on Wall Day, which is the raid I'm going to show you, where Husky three star it. Before then, Matthew went for a three star before that on Wall Day, but you can see because this is not green, it was three starred before, and it's really handy if you're going to go for a three star to pick a base that's been one or two starred because that tells you where um, everything you want to lure is, or the um, skeleton traps if they're outside all that type of thing and that allows you to adjust your attack to take that sort of stuff out of the base. So this um, attack here is by Husky Rock. Um, Husky Rock I think that was our third attack in the war on this base and it's a pretty good three star. So let me um, start you off. So just looking at this base, um, this base fairly common base right now. Uh, you've got a nice easy lure with the giants here to the CC, so he started that off. But you can see also, you know, knowing where the traps are, what he does next is he'll drop a barb, drop a barb here, drop a barb here, because he's, it's our third shot at this base. He knows where the skeletons are, and you may as well do them as well, you know where they are. Um, so he drops a barb, draws to the corner, will drop uh, 223 and a couple of witches probably, and that'll clear out the CC fairly well. He's also opened up this pocket so he might use some wizards here to make sure this part of the attack goes straight and I think he does a two point attack here, here and here but the, he can use two points because yeah he drops a wizard here to make sure the troops go in straight. So he dropped a golem, a range of wizards and that will clear out this pocket and stop any of the, um, it, when it gets to the centre that will stop <coughs> the attack taking damage from this side. So they'll only be taking, taking damage from the far side when he jumps the troops into the centre. So you can see the, um, the Queen draws the heroes in, freezes quite early, um, the King's been activated, that'll draw the troops into the centre with the jump. And the, and the first issue with this base, and for war bases this is common right now sort of to adjust for this, which is he's got both infernos and three bows in the middle. Um, so you can take out a lot of the base in terms of the firepower of the base in the one pocket and, and that's considered a base, base weakness now. So here um, he's taken out the Telfer which would have caused him damage from this side by doing this point of attack, um, cleared out this pocket, the heroes will pull um, his attack into the centre and then he, he's going to take out most of the base here um, uh, because it's all in one pocket in terms of a lot of the defence. So he jumps into the centre, rages through, Got another freeze there, presumably he's going to freeze here, yeah. Might have been a bit earlier on that freeze, might have been a bit better. Then he drops some loons on this far corner, because all of his attacks going straight through here. And that will clear out that pocket and basically leaves the base open for the three star. So I think that's a really interesting attack in a couple of ways. Um, the way he um, he used a two point attack rather than a three point attack by dropping the wizard here to clear off this bit so his attack would go straight. He cleared out this pocket so the attack in the centre wasn't copying damage from the side. Uh, and you see he did a sort of side on attack on one of the infernos rather than trying to attack, attack both of them. So lots of good things to learn from that raid, a very good raid, great, great work Husky.